Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be treating a calf that has pink eye. Now, if you watched my last video, um, I had mentioned that I had had an issue with pink eye with most of my calves. And now, one of the ones that I treated before, he got over his pink eye, and now he has pink eye in the other eye. So today we're gonna to be treating that, um, but today it was actually super hot. It was 99 degrees. Um, I don't even know what the heat index was, but it was 99 degrees today. Way too hot to work cows, so I waited till evening and hopefully it's cool enough now, it's in the 80s right now, but I'm gonna wait a little longer, I'm gonna get him in the corral, give him some grain to calm him down, and then I'm gonna separate him out and put him through a chute and show you how I treat pink eye. So let's get into it. So guys, I'm gonna let them finish the grain, and then when they're done, I'm gonna try to separate him out, and I'll let him back out into the field. So, now it's just waiting till he's back. Okay guys, I'm gonna attempt to separate him. As you can see, Come on, buddy. Come on. He's going over there. Come on. Right. There we go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. No weeds right now. You can have those afterwards. Eating some lamb's quarter there. Come on. Hey, hey, come on. Got a curled tail. Come on. I want to use the least amount of pressure as possible. As soon as he cooperates. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Got the tail here. Come on. You know, he's in there. Make it a little bit tighter. Now, guys, this here, which is what I'm using, is LA300, what we call it. It's an antibiotic. Um, and you can see the weights here. This will be cattle dosage. Make sure you don't have swine, which is on this side. Make sure you have cattle. You'll go down to their weight. 
I'm gonna guess he's between 600 and 700, and they say 18 to 21 milliliters. So, get this out here. These here, they are reusable um, syringes. You just put a new needle on every time. Um, they're a little expensive, but we haven't had to buy new syringes in a few years, so. Um, so far we found out to save money, but I'll put a link down to those in the description if you guys um, want to check them out. Should be enough there. Put this back in. And here I'm also using a pretty large needle. I don't know the actual numbers on it, but um, it's a big needle because this stuff is pretty thick. That in. You can see it there underneath the skin. Just want to make sure the hole closes up and it doesn't all run out. And then, the vet actually recommends spraying just a little bit in their actual eye. So I'm not going to use a whole lot at all. Okay, so I'm gonna hold his eye there. And I just sprayed some in his eye. And now we'll let him go. And there he goes. So guys, I hope that was a pretty interesting video for some of you. I know there's quite a few questions in the last video about how I treat pink eye. And so um, I just showed you guys that now. And a few other things before I close out today. First thing, um, as you noticed, when I was separating him, when I was trying to drive him into the corral, and when I was trying to put him in the chute, if you noticed, I wasn't being aggressive, I wasn't being loud, I wasn't doing any of that. Um, that is the good thing about having calm calves or cows. Um, it doesn't take much to get him going. Obviously, he's a little bit more of a pet, and he won't really go when you really want him to, but um, curling the tail just a little bit, just enough to get him going is all it takes. doesn't take much, and they'll go for you. So that's just one of the many benefits of bottle feeding calves. They're pretty calm and gentle and pretty easy to work with. So, And the other thing I want to talk about is putting the LA300 in the eye. Like I said, the vet recommends it. I don't know anything about it. I don't really know if that's what you're supposed to do. It definitely doesn't say to do that on the package, but um, our vet has recommended doing that for years and years and years. And it seems to work. Um, obviously, I don't. There, it's not causing them to lose eyesight in that eye because they're perfectly fine after it afterwards. So I don't really know what it is, but I guess just putting it directly on the source it helps. So. Um, Anyway guys, with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't subscribed yet and you are interested in doing so, just click the subscribe, subscribe button and tap on the notifications button, the little bell there, and that'll notify you whenever I post a video. Guys, I guess I'll see you next time.